Today we're going to look at accurate grid references, so stay tuned. All maps have some sort of grid to help you identify locations. Topographical maps, such as the 1 to 25,000 or the 1 to 50,000, which we use for land navigation, have a grid based on 1 km squares. Each square can be identified by two numbers. Lines running north to south across the page are called eastings. Lines running east to west going up the page are called northings. By convention, we give eastings first and northings second, as we can see in this example. In other words, we go along the passage and up the stairs to find the square where our object is located. Our chosen grid square is east of line 27 and north of line 76. The grid reference is 2776. Nominating the four figure grid reference for a square is fairly easy. To get it down to 100 meters, you need a six figure reference. There are a number of ways of doing it. In order to get the increased accuracy, we divide each square into tenths going east, and then each square in tenths going north. We add the tenths to our existing grid reference. So in this instance, 0, 4 and 5 tenths across, and then 1, 2 and 8 tenths up. The grid reference is 0, 4, 5, 1, 2, 8. The least accurate is guesstimation. The next method involves using the millimetre scale on a board compass or on a ruler. On a 1 to 25,000 map, 4 millimetres on the map represents 100 metres on the ground. On a 1 to 50,000 map, 2 millimetres on the map represents 100 metres on the ground. The next method is to use a dedicated Roma or the Roma marks on a board compass. We move the Roma from the bottom left hand corner to the base of the radio mast. We can see that the radio mast is with the easting 2 1 5 and the northing 204. We take our 1 to 50,000 Roma and place it again on the base of the building. We can see that our grid reference is 186932. Fast, easy, and accurate. You can practice at home and then get out there get training, you know it makes sense, it'll serve you well.